Welcome to the Python programming course. I am Mauri Shankaran. I'll be taking you through Python programming. In this course, the focus is going to be on not only learning about Python concepts, syntax, or how to use the data structures introduced by Python. The focus will be on how does Python work? How is it managing those data structures that it offers to the programmer? The intent is not only to learn about the programming constructs, it also the focus is to learn about how to use them efficiently. What is required when you join an industry and then you become a programmer, you need to know what data structures to use and for what purpose. That clarity will be there only when you understand how does Python implement those features and what exactly happens in the background of the Python virtual machine. I will give you a good introduction about the language as well as how does it work. It's going to be an interesting journey. Join me. I'm sure you will gain a lot of insight into not only Python in general about programming languages and how does OS, the operating system, helps us in running our program and also a little bit about the hardware. So it's going to be a, an interesting mix of computing, the knowledge about basic computing and how to make use of a language to get what we want as an application. So welcome you again to the Python programming. I will give you an introduction in this session. Then we will go into the details of Python. Welcome you to the lecture 1.1. The focus is going to introduce you to this course. Then I'll give you a broad overview of the course coverage. Then the references that we will be using in this course. The name is Python programming. The mode of delivery is completely video lectures. We will be dividing this course into multiple modules. And each of those modules will have lectures. The lecture duration is likely to be between 15 to 20 minutes. Based on the topics that we cover, we might exceed or we might finish it before 15 minutes. There will be some assignments or homework as a part of this course. What I urge you to do is to do those exercises. And I will also be discussing those solutions in the later lectures so that you can verify what you have done and what is being shown as a solution in the lecture, which will help you to understand where is the gap between your way of thinking or coming up with a solution and then how is it being controlled or written in the way I'm going to be showing you. I will also show you the better way of programming, coding guidelines, as well as what structures to use. So there is no one single way of programming. The solution could be many, but I will show you what are the gaps or the advantages of doing it in one way. So that will help you to write a code, an efficient code, which runs with minimum clock cycles, as well as occupying less memory. So this is going to be a self-paced, self-learning course. You can take your time to go through it and refer whatever material is being referred in this course, as well as anything that is available on the internet. What is required from you is the passion to learn, the passion to write programs. That is going to be the only motivating factor for you to go through this course and learn from the techniques being shared here. So let us see some broad coverage. This is not going to be only limited to what is being shown here. I'll help you to understand the object-oriented analysis and design concepts using Python. 
before going into the OAD, we'll first see the basic constructs of Python as well as the data structures that it has and how to use them efficiently in your program based on the application that you have in hand. There is going to be equal emphasis on the Python language features and how to use them to solve real life problems. So that you know which one to use for what purpose and for the reason also, why do you use such a feature in a particular location or a particular solution? Learn the concepts by writing program. This course is going to be based on Spider IDE. I will tell you how to install them. It's not that you need to have only that IDE for writing the code, but it will help you to follow one IDE, which is being followed in this course. Then it will help you a lot in understanding what is being taught in the course. But you are free to use any other IDE that you are familiar with. The intent is to teach you Python. Efficient programs, how to write them by writing it yourself. I will also cover some uniqueness of Python. During the course, I would be comparing this language with other languages which have come earlier than Python, like C programming language or Java or C++. I will compare those languages during this Python learning course. But if you are not familiar with those languages, no issues. It's not required to follow all of them. But if you know those languages, you can connect with what is different in Python. I'll explain to start with how does Python run on a Python virtual machine. Then a lot of optimization techniques while we are learning the language features. Coding guidelines is very, very important. You need to follow when you write a code. So that will also be consistently stressed upon and the way the code has to be written, which the industry wants. Lots of Python tools and libraries will also be covered as a part of this course. Most important aspects of Python are connecting to networks as well as database and how to create some multiprocessing solutions using Python. This will give you an understanding of how multiple processes run in a CPU. Then we will also be integrating a C code by building a DLL, which is nothing but a dynamic link library. How to interface that with a Python program? How to invoke a C program module from Python? More details are there in the course handout, which is also given along with this videos. I'm encouraging you to read through them and then follow this course religiously. What are the reference books? I'm not going to cover one book in this course. We'll be taking key features and the highlights given in these books so that you get the best of whatever is available on the books as well as in the internet. Some tricks we learn so that you enjoy. Some puzzles will also be given for you to think about. Then how to write some standard solutions using Python. Then how is it used? The Python is very popular in different domains, machine learning, data sciences, artificial intelligence. There are plenty of areas where Python is used. It's all over the place. Why is it so popular? Because it has taken the best features of other languages which have come earlier than Python. So if you learn Python, it is going to be easy for you to pick any other language as well as understand the differences between the Python language as well as other languages which are very popular. You will also be learning more languages. So Python will give you how to learn a language. And this course is going to teach you how to understand a language by learning about what is happening behind, what is being done by the compiler, 
as well as the interpreter of the python if you understand that it will help you to learn any other language at ease and i will also be giving you why some features are there in a language what is it helping as as programmers how are we extracting those features how is it helping us to write a better program those things i will also be highlighting as a part of this course so we have come to the end of this lecture i'm sure you will enjoy a lot and looking forward to talking to you in the part of this course all the very best and be successful in this journey of python programming